charge port is closed. It thinks the cable's unplugged. I can put my foot on the brake. I can go into drive and then I can pull away. Today we're back with something really, really exciting to me. Special thanks to my friends over at EVject who were nice enough to send us an EVject. So think of this as a way of possibly saving your life at a supercharger. Now, this specific device is designed to go in between the supercharging cable and your Tesla. Now, it works with uh, Tesla Model S and Model X of uh, 2022 and beyond. There's a car body interface difference in the earlier models, which they're currently trying to make a model for that. It works with all years of the Tesla Model Y and the Tesla Cybertruck. And this specific one works with the Tesla Model of 2019 and later. They do have a modified version for the Tesla Model 3, which I do have. So I'm gonna go through the unboxing of this. So we're gonna get on the overhead rig, we'll go through the unboxing, then we're gonna drive out to the only version 4 Tesla superchargers here in Atlanta and put this to the test. We're gonna plug in, we're gonna get a charge going, and then stop the charging session and put our car in drive and watch this break away. It would be great in the event of uh, possibly somebody coming up to your car and, uh, you know, trying to rob you or something like that. You'd be able to just stop charging, throw your car in drive, and drive away. This would split in half, leaving half on the supercharger to protect the cable. The other half would just stay in your car that you could drive down the road and then take out once you were uh, in a safe spot. Now, I, of course, have a link down below in my description where you can save 25% off of an EV jack. That is $75 because this little device is a life-saving $200. 99 bucks. As for a CCS version, they are making a CCS version, which should be available in about September-ish, October-ish, somewhere, somewhere around in there. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. Let's open up the EVject and go try it. All right, so this is the EVject. This is the little box that it comes in. Let's open this up and take a look at it here. It's actually my first time seeing it uh, in person. So, Got a little pamphlet here, emergency escape. Press unlock charge port on the vehicle touchscreen or the mobile app, shift into driver reverse, safely get away. The EV eject will break into two pieces. One piece protects the charger wand from the fall, the other remains attached to the vehicle. Once safe, remove the EV eject from the charger port by pressing unlock charge port on the touchscreen or mobile app, dispose of parts, or return to EV eject for recycling. And so you can see you insert the charger wand into the EV eject, with the EV jack connected, insert the charger wand into the charger port. Hold the EV jack trigger until vehicle starts charging. When finished, stop charging by pressing regular charger release button. Remove EV jack from charger wand from vehicle by pulling them out together. Remove EV jack from charger wand. Nice and easy. So, oh, look at that. They give you a little carrying case. That's awesome. I like it. I like it. That's it for the box. So, this is it. This is the EV jack. So, you can see... This would just go into your Tesla, like so. Supercharging cable would go into here. And this is that extra little latch that it's talking about. Now, I don't wanna break this uh, here. So I'm gonna wait till I actually get to the version four supercharging station here in Atlanta. I can say the quality of this, this feels exactly like the uh, J1772 adapter that comes with your Tesla. Like, I mean, it feels like good quality, doesn't feel cheap, so. Uh, I think that's pretty darn awesome. Now, as I mentioned in my intro, this specific one will work with all years of all years of the Tesla Model Y. It'll work on the 2019 and later Model 3 and 2022 and later Model S and X. They are making a version that's compatible with the 2022 and later Model S and X, and they already have, well, it's in production, but I have one here, a version that's compatible with the 2017, 2018 Model 3. So, and with all of my stickers on my overhead, rig here for recording i had to add my ev jack sticker so right here next to blenders we're gonna put we're gonna put ev jacked on the table permanently nicely done all right so we are heading out here to east point uh right by the atlanta airport to the version 4 superchargers so that way we can see exactly actually use and show you how to use the ev jacked so let's roll i have to get a car wash first Right, we are 
her here and take over self-driving since it wants to have me in their own lane. And after this red light, we'll be at the version four superchargers and we're off. Good old Lowe's here. Of course, someone's using the pull through charger who does not need to be. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take the very last spot down here. All right, so we made it. We're at the version four superchargers and I'm gonna show you how to use the EV eject. So first, uh, let's let's plug in our EV eject and get the car charging. These already look pretty beat up. They've only been here like six months. All right, all right, so first, take your Tesla supercharger, your EV eject adapter, mm. and it just slides right on. Then of course, just like normal. Why do the buttons not work here? That happened last time. So open it up, plug it in, and then to actually get it to start charging, you gotta flip this up. Now it should be charging. We're actively charging. So let's get back in. If you were in an emergency situation and you needed to get out of here, all you would have to do is come into your screen here and click stop charging. Once you click stop charging, your charging is stopped. There we go. Charge port is closed. It thinks the cable's unplugged. I can put my foot on the brake. I can go into drive and then I can pull away. <laughs> it worked! It worked! Perfect! Let me switch back to my iPhone. I can actually show you. Here's the uh, other half of it. And you know, I can touch it. Nothing's gonna happen. I can uh, reach in here, unlock charge port, and pull that right out. And there we go. We've used our EV jack. Got another little piece here. A little screw and plastic. Well, there we go. That worked. What do you think, babe? Yeah, yeah, because then the car thought that there was no cable plugged in. So it's like, okay, I can go now. Yeah, it worked. It could really save your life. You never know. Yeah. All right. Well, there it is. Trying the EV eject on a Virgin 4 Tesla supercharger. Do that smile again. Perfect. That might be the thumbnail. And so just because I'm a nerd, I'm going to pop in a clip here of, the, uh, of this kind of broken away a little close up on my overhead rig. But so here's our broken in half EV eject. I wanted to show all the little pieces. So that and then the four screws. And so that's essentially how it breaks apart. Now you can tell this little piece originally went in there like that. And these screws, of course, were along the outside here. It looks like I must have left one behind. Luckily though, they're not, they won't like go in your tire, so. And this little piece seems to have broken from here. So uh, this definitely does something, but that's what it looks like uh, pretty close up, all broken apart. I think this is really a freaking amazing, amazing little device. It worked. She even likes it. It's pretty cool. The charging speed's normal. I did another video, which will be going up uh, tomorrow, which will actually show you that, uh, you know, the charging curve is essentially the same. We had a great charging experience with using one of these with the Tesla supercharger, going from essentially 10% charge all the way up to 80, which is what most people would do on a road trip. So two thumbs up to EV Jack. Love this thing. I think it's a great addition and they are making CCS versions, which I believe will be out uh, September, October, a few months from now, those are coming soon. And uh, I mentioned at the beginning, all the compatibilities. And of course, if you want one of these, they're $299, but with my code below, you can save 25%. So you can save 75 bucks just by clicking my link below to buy your EV Jack. And yes, you can save that same percentage if you're ordering a CCS one. Thanks again to EV Jack. Thank you all for watching. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. I think uh, it's time to get you another icy, right? <laughs> get her an icy, give me a snack. You know, we're gonna head home now. So we'll see you next time. Deuces. Bye.